Hey, it's Ricardo from Fireside Weekenders, and today the project is installing the Lippert Thin Shade into our RV door. We're actually really excited about this installation because, as you can see, we currently don't have a window. So, uh, once we get this done, we'll be able to get a little bit more light into the RV, and we're also going to be able to see how we're going to be camping in some beautiful spots. So, being able to take advantage of those views is definitely going to be uh, a much appreciated upgrade. And we're also going to be able to see if anybody's at our campsite, if Jasmine's outside playing, somebody comes knock at the door, whatever the case, we're, we'll be able to to see them a little bit better some of the tools that you're going to need are a tape measure a pencil uh, you're going to create a, a template so you can put it up there a drill to get your pilot hole started you're going to need something to mask the area off it's probably painters tape so you don't scratch the outside of the door and you're going to need a jigsaw pencil so let's go ahead and start unboxing this and see what comes in the box Now, if your scheme stuck like mine did, or put together like mine did, you're gonna need to use these little uh, clips to place them right inside so this comes apart easily. If you don't have that, it's gonna be a nightmare for you. And definitely make sure that you keep these so in the future, if you have to take the window off for whatever reason, you have these. It's gonna make it so much easier to get this out than any other way. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is cut the template right out of the box. What Lippert did was actually pretty nice where they made the image on the outside of the box the same size as the window. So we'll be able to cut this out and use it as our template. Now that we have the stencil cut out, we can go ahead and start measuring up, placing the template up here, figuring out where we want it, and then drawing it out. I went ahead and measured mine out to be six inches from the top. Now we can go ahead and draw around it where we want our marks and start cutting soon. So now that we have this masked up, we can get our saw and start cutting. Now that we have the hole cut up, we cleaned up all the, the styrofoam around it because this, uh, these have a little bit of that tape that is going to make a nice seal around the door and we want to make sure that the styrofoam or any dirt particles don't get on that because if not you won't get a nice seal. So now we're going to go ahead and dry fit it, make sure we don't have to do any more cutting. We'll take the tape off and we'll install the door or the window. All right, so I made a mistake. I had cut the original template the right way, and then I second guessed myself, so I cut it a little bit more in the inside, a lot more in the inside, actually. And I basically took the whole frame 
out of the, the template. That's bad because when you put it in, you still need obviously space for the clips to go in. So I have a nice cut out around this, which is, it actually came out pretty perfect, but now I need to recut and add space for all of the clips. So when you do it, make sure you take that into account so you don't make the same mistake as I did. So now that I've measured three times and cut twice, I can go ahead and dry fit it, make sure that it'll work and we can get installing. There you go, a much better fit right here. We are ready to install this. Now, typically it's recommended to do this with two people. Michelle's watching Jasmine, so hopefully I don't regret this and break the glass. Let's try it with one person, see what happens. First thing that we're gonna do is put this on the inside. Now, what you wanna pay attention to is, if you can notice, this is thicker than this piece, so the thicker part goes on the top that's where your shade is going to hide when in the open position. All right, since I, I'm doing this by myself, what I did was add a little bit of painter's tape onto the top of the glass so I don't have to try to hold both of them and it, it secures it a little bit more. I'm going to try to snap in the bottom first. Definitely don't recommend this doing by yourself, but when that's all you got, that's what you gotta work with. All right, so I'm pretty sure I'm saying something very important here. However, we will never know because I forgot to turn on the microphone. So since I have to guess, I'm sure it sounded something like this. Now it's time to install the shade on our new window. To do this, you will first unravel the shade, then unlatch the four levers at the top and bottom of the window. You will insert the shade into the channel at an angle, making sure that the piece with the fabric is at the top and the lip that helps you raise the shade is facing you. Slide the shade up to the top of the window frame, and while you're holding it there, push the two top levers to secure it in place. Then, all you have to do is the same thing with the bottom piece in the opposite direction to secure it with the bottom levers. And with that, we can wrap up this install. The trailer looks so much better with the window on. Aside from my screw up, we're very happy to have done the install. It was well worth it, and we can't wait to use it in the spring. Thank you so much for watching. 
And as always, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you like our content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you can lip read, feel free to comment below. Let us know what I actually said. And we'll see you on our next install.